So guys, LJ Crypto back with another video. If you like my content, please hit the subscribe button and notification bell. Hit the like button, share, comment, and always know that it is my goal to help you become financially free through the crypto market. So let's get started. So in this video, I want to talk about uh, the crypto Ethereum, which is the second most popular coin aside from uh, Bitcoin. So as you can see here, I have Ethereum's white paper. And like I said before, um, every crypto that is made always starts out with a white paper uh, before it is launched. And this coin was um, created by a guy named Vitalik Buterin. And as you can see here, this coin, it was first thought of by Vitalik in 2013. And the network launched July 30th of 2015. And Ethereum, the main goal of Ethereum is to create what they feel would be a world computer, basically a uh, huge blockchain that helps to uh, connect many uh, private computers without third parties or you can say the middlemen. So Ethereum is probably the main crypto that introduces a uh, concept, what is known as a smart contract. And smart contract, um, basic function, um, a that powers applications and programs built on something like Ethereum. And smart contracts, they are in the form of code. And smart contracts, they are, um, they activate when a condition is met, such as an if then statement. Um, and as of today, another thing too about uh, smart contracts, smart contracts, they kind of act as a middleman, but they're in the form of a code and it's more decentralized. You don't need the government's approval and there's no fees, there's no delays. Um, and it's a lot more transparent because it's in the blockchain. And as we know, in the blockchain, you can't change anything. And as of today, um, there are multiple use cases for um, smart contract. So it can be used for insurance companies. It can be used for health systems, uh, the government, uh, making you know the system more you know more trustless and secure but this doesn't mean that the government owns you know a smart contract or something like ethereum um, business management and icos which is the most relevant thing uh, when it comes to cryptocurrency i will definitely make a more detailed video about icos in the future so the ethereum uh, protocol has something what is known as ether um, ether is something that will apply to um, developers who are trying to build smart contracts on uh, ethereum's blockchain and ether as it says right here ether is a uh, programmable money and basically you need ether to run um, applications on Ethereum. Um, you also needed to run uh, dApps, decentralized applications, uh, ICOs, which I just talked about. Um, more people that will start to use, um, build applications through Ethereum, the more Ether that will be required to start applications over time um, 
and Ethereum as of right now is a proof of work coin. So Ethereum miners, just like Bitcoin miners are paid in Bitcoin, Ethereum miners are paid in Ether. So there's another concept of Ethereum, which is ETH gas. And um, the main thing with ETH gas is that uh, whenever you do a transaction on Ethereum blockchain, you're going to have to uh, pay a certain amount, which would be uh, in basically get be gas fees. Um, and ETH gas on the Ethereum blockchain is the fuel that helps to keep it operating. And gas fees, they are converted to something called G way miners of course uh, they use their own computers uh, computational power um, to earn mining to earn mining rewards such as in BTC and when it comes to ethereum the more gas um, there is for ethereum miners the more secure the network can be and there's also something what is known as a gas limit and gas price. Gas limit is the maximum number of gas the user, such as yourself, is willing to spend. And there's also gas price. As I said before, gas and Ethereum ETH gas is in G way. And one G way is 10th to the 9th way. And this provides, this is a better experience for calculating gas costs. And the higher the gas price, the better the chances that the transaction will be within the next block in the blockchain. And this will greatly benefit miners. So smart contracts and the ethereum blockchain they turn into something what is known as tokens tokens uh, usage work and security uh, usage is probably the most common one um, usage tokens are really just um, coins that you know just hold value there are examples such as bat basic attention token this is something I'll talk about in a later video. Raiden, Civic, Golem. The other um, type of token is work tokens. Uh, these tokens, they contribute to an organization. And these organizations are called the Centralized Autonomous Organization. Uh, and in work tokens, the user, you, um, will stake their coins so this is proof of stake um, in the tokens blockchain and you the user will earn the right to perform um, any work in the blockchain um, and within these uh, coins these work tokens um, as the demand for the service grows more money will um, flow into service providers so as the work token becomes more popular basically uh, you the user will gain more money over time there are examples such as auger keep gems and the last type of token are security tokens uh, these uh, can are also called investment tokens and they are compliant with the CEC regulation. Um, so if you don't know what the SEC is, it is the United States Security and Exchange Commission's organization. And this group supposedly, they help to protect uh, investors such as in the stock market, uh, cryptocurrency, uh, forex trading 
Um, so, examples of uh, the benefits of the security token will be equity, dividends, profit sharing, and uh, voting rights. And this token also represents things such as uh, real estate, cash flow, and holding. So, there are different uh, forms in which developers can uh, make their tokens in the Ethereum blockchain. Uh, the most well known is ERC20, um, standard interface for uh, tokens. Um, and when it comes to making ERC20 tokens, uh, developers, they had to um, make sure that the token has a supply there are account balances. Uh, you can do transfers, and there's approval within spending the token. And this quote says that this um, reduces the creation of the project greatly, um, and that's that's why ERC20 is the most uh, popular uh, the most popular type of tokens in the ethereum blockchain because it's the uh, easiest to use it takes the uh, shortest amount of time um, for developers to create a project uh, crypto within ethereum well, now i will go to a, a website called a uniswap so this is a uh, site where you can uh, use ETH in your wallet and you can convert it into any ETH token that's built um, on ETH, ETH protocol um, and this is to show that um, there are a lot of coins that are built off of Ethereum and this is why I consider ETH as the mother of crypto because without ETH protocol, without the blockchain of ETH, there wouldn't really be a um, crypto market because there's just so many coins that were born because of uh, the purpose that ETH gave to the blockchain. And now I will show an example of when you will encounter ETH gas fees. I can't really show Ether because I'm not a developer. So uh, in, the, in, in the future, I will uh, make a video on how to use Uniswap. So MetaMask is the uh, wallet that I use. I'll also make a video about how to set up an account for this. So I'm putting, putting my password here. So this is the balance I have in ETH. So say I select a random token, I'll do ETH. Um, say if I want to convert 0 0.0115, ooh, us, oh, yeah, 0 0.0115. So if I, if I convert this much ETH into this much A, I swap. Um, if I were to confirm the swap, as you can see here, uh, these are the gas fees and gas fees are very high in price because um, Ethereum, is, uh, Ethereum is really high as of right now. I'm gonna show that right now. Yeah, as you can see here, Ethereum is over one thousand dollars, and yeah, because of that, gas fees are very high as of right now. This um, Ethereum uh, isn't necessarily complete, so there has been something in the working called Ethereum 2.0. Um, and Ethereum 2.0, this will be an upgrade that will help to uh increase the speed of Ethereum. And Ethereum is already uh, pretty fast. Um, it's definitely much faster than Bitcoin. I know that's something that I showed in my Bitcoin video. So yeah, it will upgrade the speed, efficiency, and scalability of the Ethereum blockchain. And this will 
uh, allow Ethereum to have more transactions. It can already uh, process a lot of transactions as it is. Um, unlike Ethereum as of right now, Ethereum 2.0, it will have a proof of stake instead of proof of work. And as I've said in my last video, proof of stake is definitely better. It's a better protocol, uh, more user friendly. Uh, so Ethereum 2.0, more scalability uh, Ethereum 2.0 unlike Ethereum which can only support 30 transactions per second Ethereum 2.0 will uh, supposedly have a hundred thousand transactions per second so that is much much faster and Ethereum will be more secure uh, because Ethereum 2.0, it requires a certain amount of validators. And it's something else I wanna bring up too, as far as that, since Ethereum 2.0 is proof of stake. So I am on the website, what is known as stake and rewards. You know, Ethereum 2.0 will be proof of stake. I know this says that um, there are no validators left to launch U2.0, but that's just one of the phases that E2.0 has already uh, succeeded. It's not at its final phase yet. And if we scroll down, the required amount that a validator, you, the stakeholder needs to uh, stake in Ethereum is 32 E. And that is also why E2.0 uh, will be more secure because not just anybody can, uh, you know, stake U2.0. The final things I want to mention in this uh, video, as we know, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum are the top two coins, right, in the market cap. Unlike Bitcoin, even though Ethereum is really high as of right now, um, previous to what its price used to be uh, the past few months, I think there's going to, I believe there's going to get to a point where Ethereum's price starts to plummet. Um, I don't see it going as high as Bitcoin because Ethereum's going to get so high in value. Users, uh, when they use things such as Uniswap, they're going to have, even now, they're going to encounter gas fees that are just beyond what they would want to pay for um, I think users will get tired of that eventually and um, until E2.0 comes out uh, people will move on towards other projects they will get tired of the gas fees also Ether for developers, they'll get tired of the prices going up and up and up over time because Ethereum will uh, go up in price over time. So that is the end of the video. Um, there is more to Ethereum, but I think I got um, the main stuff. I talked about the main stuff here. And i say the most important thing that uh, people should understand about Ethereum is that it is the mother of crypto and without it there wouldn't be as many coins um, without it so if you like this video please subscribe on my way to 100 my goal is to hit 1k sales by the end of the year uh, like share comment and I will see you in the next one.